Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share the solutions to Grade 7 Math Olympiad Chapter 3 Data Handling. So let's begin with the first question. The first question says, study the following table which shows the production of three different types of cars over the years. So here's the table and it shows the production of three different cars over six years. So the question says, the average production of which of the following types of cars was maximum? So in the question we have to find the production of each and every the average production of each and every car. So let us find the average production of car P. So to find the average of any given set of numbers, we have to add the add the numbers and divide by the number of terms. So the numbers are 76 plus 82 plus 65 plus 70 plus 85 plus 60 divided by 6. So then when we add we get 458 divided by 6 which is equal to 76.33 now let us find the average production of car q so again we have to do, uh, add so 59 plus 62 plus 47 plus 54 plus 57 plus 68 divided by 6 and we get 347 divided by 6 which is equal to 57.83 now we have to find the average production of car r so to find the average production of car r we have to add so 28 plus 36 plus 42 plus 31 plus 49 plus 38 divided by 6 so then when we add we get 224 divided by 6 which is equal to 37.33 so we can see that the average production of car p was maximum which is option b now let us move on to the next question so in question 2 we have to find the mean of the first 10 odd natural numbers so the first 10 odd natural numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. So to find the mean, you do the sum of numbers divided by the total number of numbers. So it will be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 divided by 10. So when we add, we get 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10. So the mean of the first 10 natural numbers will be 10, option B. Let us move on to the next question. So in question 3, the question says, the given line graph shows the number of toy bikes sold by Robin over 5 days. So here's the line graph and it, is, and it shows the number of toy bikes sold on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Question says, if the cost of one toy bike is 33.60 rupees, then how much did he earn in 5 days? So the total number of toy bikes sold in 5 days is 30, which was sold on Monday, 80, which was sold on Tuesday, 40, which was sold on Wednesday, 60, which was sold on Thursday, and 70, which was sold on Friday. When we add, we get 280. And if given that the cost of one toy bike is 33.60 rupees, so then the cost of 280 toy bikes will be 33.60 into 280, which is equal to 9,408 rupees. Let us move on to the fourth question. In the fourth question, we have to find the mode and the median of the given data. So the mode is equal to the number which is frequently repeated. So in the set of numbers, we can see that 23 is the number which is frequently repeated. So therefore, the mode is 23. Now we have to find the median of this, the data. So to find the mean, we have to first arrange the, num the terms in ascending order. So when we arrange the terms, we get as 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 23, 23, 24, and 25. So you can see that the total number of terms is 9. So uh, to find the median, we have to do 9 plus 1 divided by 2 term. So 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So 10 divided by 2 term. So the fifth term is our median. So the fifth term in this uh, set of numbers is 23. So 23 is our median. So we can see that option A is correct. Let us move on to the next question. The fifth question says, the mean of 9 observations is found to be 35. Later on, it was detected that an observation 81 is misread as 18. Then the correct mean of the observation is dash. So then the incorrect mean of observation is 35. So then the incorrect sum of the 9 observations will be 35 into 9, which is equal to 315. So since 81 was misread as 18, the correct sum of observation will be 315 minus 18 plus 81, which is equal to 378. So then the correct mean will be 378 divided by 9, which is equal to 42. So then the correct mean is 42, option C. Let us move on to the next question. Question 6 says, the following table shows the size of pieces of cloth. So here is the table. We have to find the mode of the data. So 
In the fourth question, we have seen that the more is equal means the frequently repeated number. So we can see here that 25 is the most repeated. So then the size 4 and 6 will be the more of the data, which is option C. Let us move on to the next question. The seventh question says, the mean of five numbers is 20. If one number is excluded, the mean of the remaining numbers becomes 23. Then the excluded number is dash. So let us say that x is our excluded number. So the sum of five numbers will be 20 into 5, which is equal to 100. So after excluding x, we will get it as sum of the five, four numbers will be 4 into 23, which is equal to 92. So the excluded number will be 100 minus 92, which is equal to 8, which is option D. Let us move on to the eighth question. So in the eighth question, the given bar graph shows the heights of six mountain peaks. Study the graph and answer the following questions. In the eighth question says, which peak is the second highest? So peak T is the tallest, and after that peak R comes. So peak R is the second highest, which is option B. Let us move on to the ninth question. The ninth question says, what is the ratio of height of peak P to that of peak T? So the height of peak P is 8,000 meters, and the height of peak T is 9,000 meters. So then the ratio will be 8,000 as to 9,000. But when we simplify, we get as 8 is to 9. So the ratio will be 8 is to 9, option C. Let us move on to the 10th question. The 10th question says, if the heights of the given peaks are written in descending order, then what is the average of the heights of the last three peaks? So when, so the heights of the peaks in descending order are 9,000, 8,500, 8,000, 7,500, 6,500, and 6,000. So the last three peaks are 7,500, 6,500, and 6,000. So then the average will be 7,500 plus 6,500 plus 6,000 divided by 3. So then the average will be 2,000 divided by 3 meters, option A. Friends, uh, I will continue the solutions to data handling in my next video. Thank you. Bye.